If you're using Google Sheets and you're trying to work with dates or times and formulas, you're probably noticing that it doesn't really work the way numbers would. Oftentimes you'll get an error in the formula or it'll give you a result that doesn't make any sense. We're going to go over three ways that you can use dates and times and formulas and it'll work every time. Each one of them is a little bit different and you can use them in different situations and each one of the solutions is easy. So whichever one works for you, you could start using right after you watch this video. So the first one, I'll just give you an example of what doesn't work. Hey, December 31st, 2017. Well, let's just stick with that and show it doesn't work. If you hit enter, it thinks that you wanted to divide 12 by 31 by 17. So it doesn't even have to be much of a formula. This is just a one value formula and it already breaks down but you can see what happened. And what you have to do, use the equal sign again to say I'm using a formula. Just put it in quotes, 12, 31, 17. Close the quote off, hit enter, and then you have a date. You'll notice it also shifted the value to the left. Sheets will do that with a date as opposed to a number that it'll put to the right. Let me throw in a time as well, and then I'll make the formula just a little bit more complicated. Let's do 12, 20, 14 at 1 p.m. If you put the date around it, oops, I forgot something. And I could, I could tell something was wrong because it wasn't all green. But I forgot the quote at the beginning. If I would have had that, let me erase a little bit of this and I'll just keep typing. You see, it's telling me everything's good right now because it's green. It recognizes everything. And the little value that's in the pop-up here is telling you what's going to happen if you hit enter right now. 1 p.m. and I hit enter. There it is. Valid time. But I'm going to go to the right of the quote and subtract another date or time value. And I'm just going to do this one just with a date. So it's going to make it midnight. And hit enter. And that worked. You can see the amount of time between these two is about a year. So 345, you know, is probably the right value. So using quotes is the first way. The second way to work with dates and times in a spreadsheet is to type them into a cell or have them in a cell already first and then reference them with your formula. So if I start a formula here and I just subtract these two, it knows it's 365 days. It's not going to say one because the default format is the display number of days. And actually underneath these two dates are just stored as numbers of days. So when you subtract the two, the result is naturally 365. And you can also do this with times. So if you do 12, 31, 17 at midnight, which will be the same as the value above, and you go into this formula and you change it to be 5 the result will be the same. The third and final way that we can show to use dates in spreadsheets or times is to use a date function. So let's act like you have dates listed in a table in a large spreadsheet and they're you know say this is the month, this is the day, and this is the year. Well, you can turn those into a date by using the date function. So the date function looks for a year, looks for the month, and the day. And when you close it off with parentheses, hit enter, you get March 4th, 2017. And if I copy and paste that formula below, it's going to figure out the May as well. Oops. So you can embed the date function within a longer formula to work with two dates. And another thing that we can do, let's go into this, and you can really use any date function. So we're going to use the now function. So let's see the subtract the amount of time between March 4, 2017 and now. And now needs an opening and a closing parentheses because it is a function, but you don't need anything in there. If you hit enter, that's the result of that. 
now gives you the date and time if you just want the date to today. Boom. It gives you three different ways to work with dates and times and formulas. You have using parentheses if you want to type it in. You have using cell references and you have using date functions. So I hope that was helpful and if you want to see written instructions on it, just go to the website that's in the upper right hand corner and you can follow it through on there.